Next month will mark one year since Rochelle Smith's nightmare began. I would wake up every day just crying, just feeling like I'm like dying inside without my son. Last August, Dexter's father, Ali Salome, who had partial custody, used Lebanese passports to take the boy overseas, violating a court order that said that he couldn't leave Hillsborough County with the child. He'd previously been arrested for taking Dexter from Smith's home. I'm here to beg for any and all help to get my little boy returned. That began Smith's months-long saga of finding her son. I went 281 days without speaking to him, without seeing, not knowing he was okay. I was grieving every single day for a child that was still alive, but I had no contact with. Even more complicated, Lebanon isn't a signatory of the Hague Convention of Intentional Child Abductions and doesn't extradite people to the U.S. That is, until this case. I had a lot of help with the highest uh, authorities when I would go to D.C. I made a couple trips up there. I made good relationships with senators and congressmen. And I had a great attorney in Lebanon that worked day and night getting my court orders issued. On June 21st, the FBI brought father and son back to the U.S., father in handcuffs. Mom and Dexter were reunited. I didn't know how he was going to react, but he came in the room, big smile, came and hugged me. He's adjusting, Smith says, but it's still bittersweet. He's still, at the end of the day, he doesn't have his other parent, his dad. Salome has been charged with international parental kidnapping, and if convicted, he faces up to three years in prison. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Smith says the first thing that she and Dexter did when they were reunited was take a few days to enjoy a beach vacation, try to start making up for all the missed holidays of the past 10 months.